Cat Poke, a perfect example of a contest game. It's short, it's sweet, it's to the point. When I opened the folder, I was actually expecting a point-and-click adventure, but it was far different and it exceeded my expectations. This story stars Molly, this little girl who's bored because she cannot go outside and play, so she decides to do the best thing you can do when you're bored, run around and poke all your cats. What else would you do on a rainy day? Not read a book, not draw a sketch, no, poke cats. That is just awesome. For the controls, S is your action button, and D is your alternate action button. Though in order to use your alternate actions, you have to equip it with an item. You can equip it from the menu by pressing W, and then pressing D to equip the item. And then you can press D in the game to use it. You're going to be using the S button a lot, and A is jump. You can use a gamepad, but I didn't, I didn't find myself having to use one. The game feels very original. It doesn't feel like Castlevania, it doesn't feel like Cave Story, it doesn't feel like any other game I've ever played. Basically, in order to poke most of these cats, you have to solve puzzles. Mostly by taking one item to another room and dropping it at a certain point. Then, you poke the cat. So it's more of a puzzle game than it is a platformer, though there is some platforming. Most of it's pretty optional. I had no problems adapting to the controls, and I love the gameplay. Though I do have my problems with this game, and that would belong to the victory jingle when you poke a cat. It is so sudden, I actually jumped out of my seat the first time I heard it. Other than the victory jingle and the ending song, we got this. It only gets annoying if you play this for a really long time, but it takes less than 10 minutes to beat. The graphics, for lack of a better word, are absolutely adorable. Your main character is just the cutest thing I've ever seen. Even that poked animation screen, as much as it made me jump out of my chair, it's still an adorable look. Even the opening is cute. And of course, there are the cats. The cats also look adorable. And they look like cats, too. That's great. Just as I was making this review, I noticed something in the background objects. There's a reference to Cave Store. There are pictures of Quote and Curly Brace. God, stop that. Ugh. Anyways, there's a reference to, I believe, the game developer's avatar around this time. Also, I love how Molly can follow two stories and live. One thing I like is that if you're trying to solve the puzzles for the cats and you're having difficulty, you can look at the nine individual cats' information, which gives you a clue as to how you can get to poke it. I love how well the cats are animated in this game. Like, they eat and they play with stuff, it's very nice. Once the ninth cat is poked, you can go outside because it has magically stopped raining, and you can feel accomplished about yourself. Overall, that's totally gonna get me every time.